This video will be covering how to properly fill out our fixed rates and zones import templates so that the data you enter will be transposed to your system correctly. When filling out our upload template, it's very important to keep in mind that columns should not be added nor removed from the template and that the headers should stay labeled the same as they are now. Point to point pricing, or as we call it zone pricing, allows you to set up pricing going from one point to another. These points are called zones, which could include one city and zip code or a group of cities and zip codes. In this example, we'll be covering how to set up zones from the DFW market. However, these principles apply to any market. I would also like to point out that setting up fixed rates and zones do take up time when you do it correctly. However, it's well worth doing it right the first time so that you don't quote your clients the wrong price on certain routes. It will also save you time in the future by using Excel formulas to update your pricing. Then you'll just need to have us re-upload the template into your system. In short, doing it right and taking your time now will save you tons of time later on. We are currently looking at a zip code map from a website address of zipcodemap.net that I've placed markers on to help better explain how and why I would break up Dallas into five different zones. Markers C through K would be my downtown zone, and I chose these nine zip codes to be in my downtown zone because they're all the same price of $95 when going from Marker A, which is where my vehicles are housed, to Marker B for my pickup at DFW Airport and the drop-off in any one of these marked areas. Next, I would find the zip codes that would constitute my North Dallas zone, which I've decided is C through G on this map, which comes out to be about $75 from DFW Airport to any one of these locations in this zone. To make this easier to follow, I'll stop here and enter the information on our zones template. The first thing I would need to do is add all the airports that I service by giving the zone code field their three letter FFA code. In the description field, I would add the name of the airport the city in fields I would leave blank along with the postal code fields. The state field I would add the two letter code of TX. In order for your airports to work correctly you would need to make sure that your airports are active in your system. If you need help with this check out our airports video. The link will be in the description below. Next I would add the downtown zone by entering D Dallas in the zone code field which is a word that I made up for downtown Dallas. Keep in mind that zone code fields will need to be unique from each other and that you can't have duplicates, but you can label them whatever you would like. Then I'll add the word downtown in the zone description field so that it's easy to find and update later if I need to make changes to that zone. The field cities in zone would need to have the city name of Dallas, and I would add my nine zip codes to the postal code field, separating them by a comma and a space. Lastly, I would add TX to the state field. Another way I could enter a zone would be by using multiple cities in one zone with their respective zip codes. For example, there are two cities out here in the DFW area called Arlington and Pantigo that I would group together. I would want to group these two cities together because I charge $100 to go anywhere within Arlington or Pantigo from DFW Airport. If you're putting in multiple cities in one zone, you will need to make sure to separate the city name by a comma and a space. The last way you could set up zones would be by postal codes. I'll use the zip code list from a website zipcode.org to copy and paste the zip codes into the zone code, zone description, and postal code columns. Then I'll drag down my state and remove the words zip code from the cells using the find and replace function. I'll pull up my find and replace box and type in a space then the word zip code into the find field. Then for the replace field I'll leave it blank so that it removes the information that I don't want. Next, we will need to clear the formatting and remove the hyperlinks that were added when I pasted it in from the website. Now that the zone template is complete, I'll show you where to get all the information you'll need for the rates template. The zone codes from the zone template will be used on columns labeled zone from code and zone to code on the rates template. The vehicle type codes will come from the limo anywhere system in the vehicle type section. The codes are in parentheses. These rate fields can be mapped to different rate fields in your system under the fixed rates and zone setup section. I'm pointing this out because there might be some markets such as New York that you'll need to change tax one column to a black car fund fee or to a county tax fee. Since these fees are dependent on what areas the service was provided in. 
The matrix column allows you to set up different labels for the pricing you're setting up. For example, if you're wanting to set up special zone pricing for a corporate client, you can name the matrix column the corporation's name. And since this is special pricing, you will need to place the word false in the column labeled is default matrix. Because it's not going to be a default matrix, it's going to be a special pricing matrix. Once your templates are imported into your system, you can go apply this corporate matrix to their account. Now, if you're setting up your everyday retail rates, you should name the matrix default and set the column labeled is default matrix to true. Now I'm going to show you the most effective way that I've found to set up the rate sheet that encompasses all the different routes and also makes it easier for you to concentrate on just entering the prices based on the zones and vehicles. First, I'll copy my zone codes from the zone template and paste them here. Then I'll go down the line of zone codes from fields and put them in the zone codes to fields, just like this. Next, I'll drag down my vehicle type code, my rate matrix field, and is default cells. Then I would start entering my rates. Keep in mind that none of your rate fields should be left blank. You will need to add zeros if the rate field is not needed. Once I've completed my rates for my sedan, I'll quickly add my other vehicle types by using the find and replace feature in Excel. First, I would need to add another sheet to this template and copy over my sedan rates that I've set up to that sheet. Next, I would look up the vehicle type code that I would need. In this case, it's exec sedan. Then I would highlight column A, open the find and replace box. For the find field, I would type in SED. And for the replace box, I would type in exec sedan. After the replacement has been done, I will add the exec sedan setup underneath my sedan rates. I'll do the same thing for my other vehicle type codes.